Hello, this is Spellbinder with another very disturbing article. Um, ABC hosting this week Muslims Against Christians. And I was told by my brother, which I've also read articles, that you know how we're having this, uh, well, we want everyone to have a one child policy. We want you all to have just one child, maybe two at the most. You know, to control the population of the world. Well, here's the nightmare. The Muslim countries and Muslim race don't believe in that. They're having six to ten children at a time. According to articles I've read on the scientific point of this is, within 30 years, Muslims will outnumber all other races five to six to one. And they will have the say in everything by being that way. When their children grow up, they'll be able to tell what they want. And they will want Sharia. They're going to want their religion, Muslimism, practiced worldwide. And they even say this in this video. I mean, this is just is what's coming down the pike, people. As we're being told to cut back on our children, they're, they're increasing theirs. And they're going to outpopulate us within 30 years. We'll be a Muslim world. Hope you're happy believing the UN and all its crap it, it teaches to us. The UN demanding the one child policy worldwide. The only people who won't be affected by this will be Chinese because they already have over a billion people themselves, so they're not going to really worry about the Muslims. It will probably end up being a war between China and Muslims, is what I see. Here's this video here. It, it just, uh, uh, it's madness. You gotta see it to believe it. It's only about 20 seconds. We do believe as Muslims, the East and the West will one day be governed by the Sharia. Indeed, we believe that one day the flag of Islam will fly over the White House. Indeed, there's even a narration of the Prophet where he said, the day of judgment will not come until a group of my Ummah conquer the White House. And the only thing's left is putting the flag up because I believe Obama is a Muslim. I don't think he's a Christian. He may be atheist. It's just his acts, the way he acts and the way he's handling policies, they're very anti-Christ and anti-Christian in themselves. And when he went to uh, Arabia and bowed to the king of Arabia, you know, that kind of like, that was the first guy he visited, so he had to go and bow to everyone else because once he bowed to him, it was like, oh, wow, I better have to bow to everyone else now or they're going to know the gig is up that I'm a Muslim. And that's where Obama stands today. This is what this article says. This week wages holy war month before midterms. We believe that one day the flag of Islam will fly over the White House. This is by Jeff Poor. 10-3-2010. You have to wonder what on earth ABC's this week host Christina Anapur is talking or, ta or thinking about holding a so-called town hall meeting this close to the pivotal midterm elections. On October 3rd broadcast of this week, the brainiacs of ABC determined it would be appropriate to pitch Christian leaders against moderate, moderate extremist Muslims. Oh, really? This choice of programming comes at a time when many conservatives have chastised for being outspoken over the placement of Islamic Worship Center near the September 11 Ground Zero site. However, perhaps the most alarming statement on Amapur's program came from Ajin Chowdhury, a former British solicitor and Muslim cleric that spoken for the group Islam for UK. Chaudhary contends eventually you'll see global Islamic rule including here in the United States. And he said in the video, we do believe as Muslims the East and the West will be governed by the Shirai. Chaudhary, indeed, we believe that one day the flag of Islam will fly over the White House. Indeed, there's even an orientation of the prophet where he said, One day of judgment will not come until a group of my, at times, Anapur's program appeared to break into almost Jerry Springer-like program, but with just religious themes including people applauding and cheering from the audience. Since Anapur has taken helm of this week, 
from Jake Tapper, the program has suffered its lowest ratings since 2003. Perhaps the recent direction of the program is an indicator. I mean, this is just exactly that bad. I mean, they're. <laughs> I mean, here, let me let me play this one more time. And let's soak in. We do believe, as Muslims, the East and the West will one day be governed by the Sharia. Indeed, we believe that one day the flag of Islam will fly over the White House. Indeed, there's even a narration of the Prophet where he said, the Day of Judgment will not come until a group of my Ummah conquer the White House. Okay. I mean, there it is. They're, they're even saying it. And like I said, they are having six to seven plus children. And when they grow up, these children, they were out populate us at least five to one maybe even ten to one and when that happens who's going to who's going to have say on all the laws of the lands of the world they will because they will be in positions and power they will be outnumbering us and voting I mean <laughs> people we're being hoodwinked in the, in, into a fell we're being felled and it's all because of the UN and its and its evil actions I mean the UN has agenda 21 but I don't think they're planning on the Muslims outpopulating everyone. I don't know. Maybe 2012 is true. Uh, Jesse, Jesse uh, Ventura's uh, show on True, where he had conspiracy theory talking about the underground bases. They're, they're building them in record numbers right now, preparing for something to happen in 2012, either civil uprise or some type of uh, astrological catastrophe asteroid, comet, solar flare, who knows exactly what's coming down the pike from that angle. But there is, but the governments of the world are in a hurry building underground bunkers to put their their sweet butts in, in the ground and leave us on the surface to take whatever the blunt of whatever is coming. So, I mean, if they're, if they're preparing to go underground for some reason, something bad must be coming and they're not telling the world. Only the numbers that are in on it, paying their way. It kind of reminds me of the movie 2012. You know, if you got a billion in euro gold, you can buy yourself a seat on the ark and be saved. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, scary. I'm going to leave it here for now and say my goodbyes to you for the day. And let this sink in. We're being destroyed as races. And the Muslim race will take over. The religion itself will. There will be no more Catholics and Christians and Muslim or Hindus and uh, Buddhists or any of those. It will just be the Muslim faith. Islam. Well, until next time. Be good. Be good at it. Good day.